Do you want to welcome our guest on? Sure. Yeah, I don't see him. In the, is he is he ready to come on? Uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, welcome, Carson. Hey. Hey. What's going What's on? Up? Not much, man. Not much. It's good to see you both. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we we haven't. I haven't seen you in in a dog's age. Thank you for coming on the show. Huh? Yeah, it was like two years ago that I think the last time we spoke. Well, it was right when you were like starting like new things and stuff like that. I remember talking about that. And now it's like, and I remember the last time we talked, it was right when I was like, hey, man, I have an idea. Yeah, and I was like, I might start a brand. And now Ooh. here we are. And now so are, I, are you are you wearing the hoodie right now? I am wearing the hoodie. It's not the best lighting in my room, but yes, I am. That's that's sick. OK, Um. So I, I guess the first thing I want to ask you to do just for our audience, you want to like introduce yourself, say like who yeah. you are, what your deal is. Yeah. Um, my name is Karsten Craning. My last name is pronounced Craning, even though it looks like Croning. I started out as a YouTube memer, kind of Instagram memer person. So I used to post little pictures online that people thought were funny. Mm -hmm. um, from there, I've been doing YouTube. I've been doing mainly focused on like YouTube education, a little bit of lifestyle in there. Um, and as of recent, this past two years, what I've worked on and finally kind of got it down with my last drop, just ending actually last night, mm -hmm. um, is when we closed the shop. Uh, I've been working on my own clothing brand and bringing that into the world. Sick. Applause, applauses, applauses. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, that's awesome. I, I think it's sick that you finally got it off the ground. I, I yeah. encourage people to watch. I, I at least I, I watched one of your recent videos where you're showing a lot of the behind the scenes of like the editorial imagery stuff. And I thought that was pretty cool. Thank um, you. Yeah. yeah, I mean, it's sick to see somebody be able to pull that off. And, and like you mentioned, yeah. we talked about this two years ago. Oh, my God, I know. <laughs> and I a, um, a completely different outlook of what I thought it would look like two years ago. And yeah. it's so funny mentioning it started for two years. I, I've mentioned that in a few videos. Mm -hmm. um, and so many people have thought that it like took me two years to like sketch out the hoodie or something. Like <laughs> yeah, exactly. I was like, no, 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 like production, like getting, yeah. finding materials and sourcing. But yeah. So I'm, re I'm really curious now when you say that it looked so different when you first started thinking about it, when you, mm -hmm. the very first times you started conceptualizing starting a, a brand. Mm -hmm. What were those early visions like and how are they different from what you ended up doing? Well, like when I first started thinking about a brand, like I was like 15, right? Like, yeah. I was, like, like a kid. Yeah. In this and then when I first like started thinking of some solid concepts, the two concepts that I first thought of was this hoodie um, and a like trucker jacket, which I think I showed Christian and that that will never Maybe. be that I went through like, <laughs> samples of that. And then like I finally got a sample that I was like, oh, I should release this. And they're like, yeah, it's going to cost about $200 uh, to produce uh, each one. And I was like, okay, we're okay. <laughs> I'll be down the line. But um, yeah, it looked a little bit different in that I think I was still forming a lot of my brand identity and like kind of got in the design process. And I like started, I had a much like wider variety of like things that I wanted to design. Mm -hmm. And now I've kind of narrowed that down to more like, Starting off for like the first few drops, it's definitely going to be more like essentials or basics. Um, mm. But yeah, no, it looked, um, I mean, it had like the same design flavor. I, I remember I think I tossed around a logo to you, Christian. I don't know yeah. if, if I tossed around to you and it was just like in cursive and it looked, <laughs> it, it looked, everything was a lot more like when I started like the design process, everything was like a lot more like, um, off-brand Rick Owens, I think would mm -hmm. be the best way to describe it. As sure. we all aspire to be, of course. Um, but uh, the, I guess on that that kind of idea, because mm -hmm. if, if people are unfamiliar, you have the your first item is this hoodie, you're calling it the Swans hoodie, right. um, mm -hmm. and you just kind of hinted there's more stuff on the way. What, right. Where wh where is your brand? How do you how do you define it? Like, what is its kind of yeah, je ne sais I mean, quoi? Uh, Right. This I I thought one thing is, is that like right now, I think it's a good question. Um, where is the brand? Obviously, something a reason this took a long time to produce and get out is because I wanted to have a fully fledged like business plan. Um, and mm -hmm. I think I talked to a lot of people 
like I was of so much privilege to have a lot of industry connections, whether that be um, YouTubers, Instagrammers, or like actual people who work at brands like Helmut Lang um, mm -hmm. or HBA. And so I just got a lot of um, things to talk about. And one of the things I realized is, is that me just releasing clothings when I clothing or like a piece when I had like two ideas wasn't going to cut it because mm -hmm. it's necessary to have like a built out vision. Right. Mm -hmm. And so when I have things, the way I have things planned out right now, I can, I probably have like, I want to say like 25 things, like where we have like solid ideas that are like okay. lined up for sure. And then like, just like probably things until the end of time to like, as far as <laughs> That's like wow. time in memorial. Yeah. yeah. So that's wild. Yeah. Like I spent a long time just like learning how to like get things down, make like mock ups and stuff like that. And so right now, like I'm definitively, I have like up until next spring, I know like what items I'm going to release. And we're getting the final like stages of those all like finished. That's incredible, dude. That so is. are. Who are you working with? Is this a one man band or how many people are involved in the project? It's, it's, it's a one man band in terms of like, I am the only person who's doing design. Mm -hmm. um, like I have a photographer who I've been working with who's great and he helps with that. Um, obviously there's a lot of people who like have moral support or advice, but it's mainly just me. Uh, the only other person like I have to give like props and kudos to like big time is like Tommy Pointer, if you're familiar with him, he's a sure. director. Um, but he's like, I grew up with him, right? And so yeah. he's been like a huge input on the design process, helping me like find what is my style and like saying like, go in this direction, this is where you're going. But also like, he like helped me out crazy when it came to production. Cause that, really? was, that was where I struggled with. And he'd just been doing it longer than me. And he'd been looking for factories because I shopped around for factories for a long time. Wow. It's brutal. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's the, the whole thing. Yeah. Uh, I, I mean, I, I, at least personally, I think it's so fascinating. Like to, to yeah. see, like just to hear you, that you, you're, you think you have like 25 items that are sure on the way. Yeah. Oh, it, for it, sure. And, and I mean, I think all the kids at home are wondering, like, can I do this? Can I fantasize about starting my own brand? It's a segment that we have on this podcast. So yeah. um, I guess like the, the first thing I would want to ask is, like, what what do you need? How much capital do we need to pull together? What, what do you think are like some of the, the first tips you would give to somebody? Yeah, I mean, like, uh first like thing is like capital is like huge um like physical monetary capital mm -hmm. it takes a lot of money it's <laughs> yeah. man like i think about like the sunk costs and this drop well this first drop was amazing it was great it was successful i feel mm -hmm. very very thankful hey like, shout out to anybody who bought a hoodie it was for someone who's never launched a clothing item before it was actually a great amazing turnout that's um, sick with that being said like with all the sunk costs that I've already had, it's like as a business so far, not super profitable. <laughs> yeah. Sure, yeah. It's not like made a profit, but like thinking about like the fact that like I had to do like a good amount of samples before, mm -hmm. um, how I had to invest in packaging material. A lot of these like materials and things I'm getting are evergreen for a couple of years, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So, like, you have to like, but like just like the resources you need. It's, it's a lot of money. It's, it's not... Um, it's not like a couple hundred dollars thing if you're doing no, it. No, yeah. Like, and I'm curious, speaking of, of the monetary side of it, there's so many directions to go here, but I'm curious, you, you mentioned it's kind of a, a basics piece for this first one and maybe the first few, right? Mm -hmm. um, not to say there's not interesting stuff going on there, the paneling and everything. I, and I want to get into that. Yeah, I want to know. Absolutely. But the, it is a sort of, basics piece mm -hmm. and the price point is aggressive i would say at least in the the space that that we exist in so yeah. how did you land on that so i kind of struggle with, with the whole price point thing it's definitely yeah. aggressive for the space we're in but like the space like when i was like looking at like all of the brands it's so diverse right with price points like it's so interesting because there are people who will charge like um, in this like YouTube space will mm -hmm. like, like 
80 to 125 is what I found was like the average price mm. for a plate. There's some people who charge a lot more too in the YouTube Hell space. Hell yeah. Right. Like, um, like for example, Kenny Wajima, I think, charges like 100. You beat, you beat me to it. You beat me to <laughs> so it. Like, and, like, no. And there's also like brands like Balenciaga, which pay hundreds for um, yeah. a tea, like, you know, like a hoodie. Anything. Yeah. And so it was just like, for me, the reason I landed on the price wasn't necessarily because I felt like some sort of way, like I need to have a price, but it was just like, how can I like, um, get the best materials, the best production mm -hmm. of, you know, more like ethical production for a good price. Um, that's somewhat affordable. And I thought $150 was like a fair price to like kind of aim for mm -hmm. when I was like looking to release this piece, I knew I wanted it to be between a hundred and $200 for like the cost of the item. And yeah. I was able to kind of get halfway there. Ideally, you know, the thing I, I thought about a lot with this was like, how do I like kind of price it right? Because mm -hmm. the truth of the matter is, is, and I found this out by looking at the comments of all of my things is like, yeah. people, the way some one of my friends put it is that uh, people want um, like the highest quality thing ethically made for the cheapest price. Mm -hmm. like, they want it. They want it to make them hotter. They want to be more popular. <laughs> yeah. they, they want like, and all of those things. And it never, there's no sins involved. And it yeah, was made and only like, by angels. And, and and the truth of the matter is, is you can't do all of those things. You can do like a yeah. degree of each of them. Like, man. Yeah. Like, and so I tried to balance it out as best as I could. It's definitely aggressive pricing because this is a high quality item. I wanted to give somebody something uh, like that's just going to last for a little while. But yeah, like. I don't know it's totally. just what what I could do with the giving a proper item, I think. That's sick. I mean, yeah. I, I, I think that anybody making anything wants to do it right. Mm -hmm. But I think that at least I haven't done this, but I expect based on your experience, you, you're dumping two years in, you're already dumping all this money. At some yeah. point, you probably are like, well, I got to make money off of this. So uh, you, I'm sure there are a lot of opportunities to kind mm -hmm. of cast aside any... Mm -hmm like ethics or yeah. like capacity to maintain that. So mm -hmm. props to you, dude.